All right, so these are the assets I just built up and I saved for the next step as this hat goes down and that nose keeps getting brighter and those flames keep getting higher and the mustache keeps kind of getting burnt away, turned to ash. So how do I bring this one over? I select all the layers by holding down shift. I hold down option and I go to layer, merge layers. I select all by hitting command A or control A on a PC. By hitting command C or control C on a PC to copy it all, go to my stage and then command V or control V on a PC to paste it in. And now I've got 16 frames. Not quite 30, I was thinking of my morning class. Right? And I can just turn them on and off with the eyeball and kind of see how this animation is working so far. And my animation is designed so each frame is basically the exact same timing. But what I could do is design it so that it lasts longer when the hat's all the way pulled down. So that the reveal is a little bit more dramatic. All right, so now we need to pull down again. So I'm going to save my stage. We're going to deselect and delete the merged layer on the asset so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to move the hat down a little bit more. And now I'm going to last time animate with this flame and flicker it by moving it horizontal. When it moves, that's going to be really effective. I know right now it doesn't seem super momentous, but it really helps to flicker it horizontally once you have movement. I'm also going to start to fade it out. Yes, these are all the frames of your GIF. Okay, so I'm going to start to have it fade out just a little bit. And I can also play with its blending mode. Like I can just have it darken. Kind of like that if I want. Or let's see, let's try overlay. It kind of works. Yeah, I'll just keep it normal. And then maybe I'll actually erase away a little bit from this flame. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate the mustache again and erase away more from that. And darken it. Image adjustment, levels, Always go darker. And then because I don't see the nose, I just have to remember to turn off the monocle and the nose layers. There's still one. There it is. Okay. And uh, you know what? I'm going to darken that flame a little. So I'm just going to go to levels because now that flame is starting to go out because it's consumed almost everything. So I'm just going to darken it like that and then I'm going to take its opacity down more. Then I'll erase away from the mustache a little bit more behind it. Yeah, do it a lower opacity. Yeah. 
That's the ticket. All right, so now, and I could have added smoke to the cant to the flames and all this stuff, but now this is my next frame. Makes sense. Do the whole merging thing. I have it on the sidebar there. Hold down shift, make sure you get all the layers, then hold down option and say layer, merge layers. Then it gives you that merge layer at the top. Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it. Go to your stage, Command V to paste it in. Command S to save your stage because you added a new frame. Go back to your assets, Command D to deselect and then delete that merge layer. And now my last layer, which again is just a duplicate of layer seven, but I'll just do it this way. Option, layer, because it doesn't save me that much time. Merge layers, Command A, Command C, Command V, Command D, deselect. All right, now this is what's interesting, is now this is easy because I just get to turn off all of those extra layers of the mustache and the flames. Because it's going to be gone. That's the reveal. It is shaved. All the hard work is of building assets is now finished. And I'm going to say uh, option, layer, merge layers, command A, command C, command V, and save. And then we go back to this, command D to deselect, delete the merge layer. And I go up one more. And you got to build my guy back. Where is he? So not the nose tip, but the nose here. And the monocle. And he looks pretty boring without his mustache. But just to make sure that that's what I want, I'm going to go down to the layer that last showed that level, which is right here. And maybe I'll have his nose just be a tiny bit red. Just a tiny bit. So where was that? That was this one. So I'll go from this to this. For that, I need to erase this part up here, which has nothing to do with it. All right, so now let's get that one in. Option, layer. Now, it'd be cool if there was like smoke from the extinguished fires, like kind of billowing out from under the hat, but I don't want to deal with that. There's always more you can do, but that's where editing and going back to your keyframes and understanding your story matters. So now I'm between these two frames, revealing the shaved character. So I go from there now to, oh, I need to move the hat up more, don't I? Oh, no, sorry. There we are, from there to there. Yes, very good. So select it all. Hold down option, layer, merge layers, command A, command C, command V, command S to save. And now back to here, deselect, get rid of that, deselect, get rid of that. And now back to our original placement of the hat. 
And let's see where my eyes are. There it is. And let's make sure that the monocle makes sense. There we go. And then, let's see, I erased away part of the monocle, which I probably shouldn't have done. There we go. There it is. So now it reveals to this. Remember, you can always do Command O, get everything centered. Oh, I need the hands. Aha. Now, should I keep the nose a little red? I think so. I think that's a nice little detail. Or maybe not red, but a little sooty. Just a little sooty. All right, this is the next one. And now I'm just turning off layers. I'm not having to build any new ones. I'm not deleting any. Command A, Command C, stage, save it. All right, now Command D, delete. Now, I thought it would be fun to have these little stars appear. So this would be adding new ones just to show that he's nice and clean. And I would probably do that with the custom shape tool. Find a nice star. In here, kind of like the little asterisk. Because a lot of these are very complex shapes. Man, there's so many. It's really nice there's so many, but it's a bit of a pain to look through. Yeah, so let's just use the asterisk. <laughs> All right. There's the asterisk, and then there's something else as well. But I was going to do one of these. And then I'm going to tilt it. So Option Command T. And it's going to do one here. And I'm going to make it white by double clicking in the shape layer, selecting white. And then I'm going to duplicate it. Command J. Option Command T. Shrink it. Maybe hold down Shift to distort it a little bit. Make another one. Hit return, duplicate that, Command J, Option Command T. Move tool, shape it, make it a little bit bigger. Flip it. All right, now I have these three assets. Good time to save. But I need to blink them in and out. So I'm going to start with just this one. And I'm going to do the whole process. I know it's arduous, but shift all, option, Layer, merge layers. Don't worry about the little vector shapes that are showing. So I'll go into this, Command A, Command C, then paste. Now save. And now, deselect that one and delete that layer. Now we turn on another one and do the same thing. Merge them all. Option, image, 
not image, layer, merge layers. See, I still mess it up. 